I'm coming by. Two-year-old Nandito Gallego loves to strut around his La Jolla apartment and play with his toys. He's a budding Elton John. And Peyton Manning, look out. <laughs> Nandito's mom, Marcia, says she didn't expect her son would get this far. I still see him walking, and sometimes I feel that I'm dreaming. When Marcia was 15 weeks pregnant, an ultrasound revealed Nandito had an opening in his spine. Marcia was told that kids with this condition, called spina bifida, often end up severely disabled. That picture, he was probably eight days old. He was recovering from his third surgery. And um, sometimes we, we, we couldn't be with him because of hospital rules. So we, we, um, we placed that picture to show him how happy we were that he was here and just like to remind him that we were happy for him. <laughs> As with many children with spina bifida, Nandito was born with fluid on the brain. Surgeons had to implant a shunt to drain the fluid. So you could see the drainage tube going down his body. He was in the neonatal intensive care unit for the first 63 days of his life. The hospital bill was $980,000. Nandito has had a total of nine operations, including two brain surgeries last year to fix his shunt. He'll celebrate his third birthday soon. The prognosis was that he would be able to walk with crutches and surgeries after he was like six or seven years old with a lot of work. And I don't want to say that it's been easy, but it hasn't been as dramatic as, as, as expected, for the walking part at least. Spina bifida is one of the most common birth defects. That's not to say it happens frequently. In California, it affects about one in every 2,800 pregnancies. Most kids with spina bifida in San Diego are treated at a clinic for spinal defects at Rady Children's Hospital. This represents all the different specialties that one person would see. The clinic includes specialists in a number of disciplines, including orthopedics, urology, and neurosurgery. The clinic's Dr. George Chang says kids with spina bifida usually require a number of different specialists. Well, if you imagine, they were, uh, they're essentially kids who were born with um, their spinal cord open, and as a result of that, the nerves going to a lot of different things can be pretty much altered or completely severed. So not only do you have problems where kids are permanently in a wheelchair and unable to move, uh, you also have kids where the nerves to their bowels and their bladder are completely gone. Dr. Chang says without surgical interventions, many kids with spina bifida would have to live in a wheelchair and wear diapers for their entire life. We do our best to assist with their um, mobility issues, um, and we do our best to try to deal with all their um, diaper issues. We try to prevent them from being in diapers through various surgical means and medical means. The exact cause of spina bifida is unknown, but research reveals women who lack folic acid in their diet are at higher risk of having a baby with the condition. The Centers for Disease Control says because of their diet, Hispanic women consume the least amount of folic acid of any ethnic group in America. Hispanic women are also less likely to take a multivitamin with folic acid when they're pregnant. That may explain why there's a higher incidence of spina bifida among Hispanics. In San Diego, the Spina Bifida Association is trying to change that. Twice a year, the association holds events where it invites affected families and others interested in learning about spina bifida. We talk to the families to teach them how important it is to eat or include in our diet the uh, folic acid, even through the cereals that now, now have more folic acid than before. Also, to encourage them to eat more vegetables like broccoli, spinach, all those greens that, that are pretty good in folic acid. But even women who eat right, take supplements, and have no family history of the disease can have a baby born with spina bifida. That's what happened to Marcia Gallego. Nonetheless, the Gallegos have worked hard to help Nandito forge ahead. They concede there will likely be many challenges in the future, but so far, so good. Nandito! Nandito! Ra, ra, ra. Marcia Gallego says when she was pregnant, people used to ask if she wanted a boy or a girl. 
we used to answer, we just want a happy baby. And right now I think it's like our dream come true that we have a happy and a healthy baby after all. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.